we're, we're here with uh, Chef John State. Yeah, now, what is, what is the executive chef food and beverage as opposed to the executive chef of cardboard and uh, plants? That makes sense. I've been upgraded. Yes. I like that, how it's Thank redundant. You. Executive chef of food and beverage. Just okay, so. <laughs> You, what do you have? Uh, what do you have in front of us here okay. today? Because so it looks great. Two of our dishes that we're offering at our marketplace here at Disney California Adventures Food and Wine Festival. So the first one, one of my personal favorites, is our roasted golden beets mm. with purple haze goat cheese and verjou vinaigrette, Ooh. and that's being offered at uh, Wine Country. And then the second one, which is by far the more popular one is the grilled beef tenderloin slider with our chimichurri sauce Hello. and crispy yucca and uh, brioche. Ladies. Perfect. Yes, yes. Nice yes. to see you and Very I love popular. this. What Now what do you call this when you're all prepared like this? This is uh, what we're calling is mise en place. Mise en place. Mise en that's, place. that's French for uh, get your ass together and prep it beforehand so you're not throwing things around when there's a knife present later. Thank Excellent. You. So what are you going to prepare for us? So today we're going to, uh, I'm going to assemble the golden beet salad for you with the verge vinaigrette and then I'll put together the uh, slider for you. You can actually taste both of them. You can do it while I'm preparing them or you can help me prepare them at the same time. I'll help you prepare. You. Otherwise, I'm just going to look like a fat pig. <laughs> no, well, no, I was no. going to prepare, but you go ahead and eat, Neil, and I'm just... I don't want you to miss out. You're going to love this. Thing. I will get it all. Okay, okay. So, so what we have is the... We've roasted golden beets. You know, I'm sort of the beet whisperer here. Uh, I've change people's lives by trying to get them to eat beets without telling them this. Okay, beets, very yeah. earthy, almost uh, dirt in flavor when you get a red beet in your mouth. Right. If it's not, you know, filtered with anything else, uh, what is, uh, what would be the difference with a uh, golden beet? They're not as sweet as the red beets. The red beets I refer to as like the sugar beets, the ones that we would use for a devil's food cake. Mm -hmm. But uh, we find that the sugar content in these is actually quite approachable. Uh, we roast them with just salt, pepper, and olive oil in the oven on a cookie tray, if you will, for about mm -hmm. an hour and a half until they're tender, let them cool, and then we peel them. Uh, and I, I don't... Any fat? Put any fat on them uh, when you do that? Just a touch of canola Can oil. I, It's only going to be us, right? Yep. No one's going to flip out about this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. It just... Very, that, that earthiness that only comes from beets. It just has that very fresh... Well, you and I, I think, can agree that beets are great, but it's not something most people gravitate towards. It's, if it's a great ingredient cooked right, you'll see that it's amazing. Mm. And I know people have this uh, idea that beets come out of a can, but they really come out of the earth. This is our verjou vinaigrette. Okay, so what's in that? Is, uh, it's the verjou juice that we've cooked down. Mm -hmm. It's the white verjou, which is the unripe grape juice. It's, uh, cook down gently, and then we add canola oil, salt, pepper, and a touch of Dijon, so it emulsifies. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. A couple of key takeaways here is the dressing always goes around the bowl, never on top. Why is that? Because we want it to incorporate the dressing in, in slow stages so it doesn't just drown what's in the bowl already. Like if you just hit it right on top of the beets. And beets also love uh, dried cherries or they love dried fruit. And then, of course, beets gravitate towards goat cheese, just like popcorn and butter, right? Or mashed potatoes and gravy. Love just a wonderful cheese. combination. Yep. And what about the goat cheese? Do you think okay. marries so well uh, with the earthiness of those uh, well, it's the it's the creaminess is what it is. It's if you had a dried cheese like a, a, a parm or an aged shack, it wouldn't have that mouthfeel and that uh, texture. Held back a little bit, but try it. See what you think. Get a little bit of combination. Mm -hmm. You get the beets, the goat cheese. I'm with well you. Seasoned. Up that dressing. Yeah. Oh, I think it's perfectly seasoned. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh man. How's this? How am I doing? You know. That's damn near dessert. You know, someone actually said that to me yesterday. I mean, that's that natural sugar coming out of the beets. All right, but the way, the way that it pairs, I like this, this handoff yeah. is nice. The way it pairs with that goat's cheese mm -hmm. almost translates as a dessert. Here, arugula. Uh, beets also love uh, arugula and watercress um, or just but beets by themselves. You don't need lettuce. Not required. Okay. And if and if take a look over here though. We've roasted the beets. That's the skin on still. And then this is the beet. That's actually after it's peeled. Low and slow uh, or high uh, uh, high and short. Degrees. Okay. So you got the mm -hmm. high heat, and you're doing what? Forty minutes? Forty five minutes? At least. And then we'll check it because these are pretty big. These take a while. Okay. So there you go. Voila. Voila. Okay. That's French for eat it. Yep. Go for it.